But first tonight, students in Lindenhurst on edge after a teen was arrested on school grounds for making threats. It's a story we first told you about last night on the News at 10. And today, our crime reporter Krista McNally spoke with some classmates about this scary situation. That's right, Suffolk police telling us a teen has been arrested for threatening to detonate an explosive device here at Lindenhurst High School. Students we spoke with today on edge after learning that one of their classmates was arrested for this type of threat. You shouldn't threaten a school. I don't feel safe being in the school. Like, I don't feel safe being anywhere anymore. I feel safe, but I feel like... You shouldn't do that, like just to joke around. It's not like the right thing to do. Suffolk police say over the last month, a 15 year old male student made several threats, not only to set off an explosive device, but also threatened to carry out other violent acts against staff and students at Lindenhurst High School. It's very disturbing and I'm sorry. I have four, four daughters that are grown now. It's a different world, but they let these kids get away with too much. Everything is crazy. I wouldn't, it doesn't surprise me. Police are not releasing the identity of the young man, but say he was arrested at the school on Monday, just before dismissal, after they say they got word of his latest threat. They shouldn't be locked up. Making threats to the school, it's illegal. It's horrible to hear those type of things, you know. The teen is being charged with aggravated making of a threat to mass harm, which is a misdemeanor. The boy was released to a family member and will be arraigned at family court in Central Islip at a later date. It's pretty frightening to hear about it. Um, I'm just happy that he got caught. There's a lot of threats going on lately. Like, have you heard about the stuff in Copeg, stuff here now? Like, it's just going crazy lately. Like, this, the, the world is turning crazy now. The Lindenhurst superintendent sent several messages to families within the district. The most recent one stated that there was never an active threat towards the high school. Rather, it said that there were text messages that were brought to the district's attention. They were sent more than a month prior to yesterday's incident. That's the latest from Lindenhurst. Krista McNally, News 12, Long Island.